Welcome back to Primetime Sports Tuesday. World 400-meter champion Antonio Watson's qualification for this summer's Olympic Games in Paris is in doubt, according to his coach, Glenn Mills. And as we'll hear in this report, not all are in favor of the change to the men's 400-meter schedule for the National Senior Championships. The J3A's National Senior and Junior Trials Primetime Sports Preview Watson opted out of the 400 meters at Racers Grand Prix on June 1 through injury and has not competed since. The 22-year-old has a season's best of 45.61 seconds over 400 and 20.84 over 200, but Coach Mills says his charge's chances of qualifying for Paris are in doubt. Um, Antonio, as you know, he didn't run at the Grand Prix because he was injured and um, he has been steadily um, getting treatment and that sort of thing, but I would say right now, um, it's uncertain. Watson doesn't currently qualify for a medical exemption based on the J3A selection policy. In the meantime, Sunday, June 30 is D-Day for Jamaica's men's 4x400-meter athletes in terms of qualification for the Olympics. It's a final day to meet the qualification standards and it will also see the nation make one final attempt to qualify for the 4x4s, having missed out on three previous tries. It meant reshuffling of the schedule for the national championships, which now sees the men's 400 final set for Friday. The top 16 athletes will also receive a bye to the semi-final round. But there is a trade-off, according to Coach Mills. Well, it matters to the athlete who has been preparing um, to use the trials as an assimilation for what the Olympic three rounds would, would feel like. So if, if you don't get a chance to run three rounds um, often because you run at the Diamond Leagues and all the other premiers, just one run. And um, it's important to know where you stand, um, how you recover from round to round and, and um, is your recovery on target as you've done enough endurance, speed endurance work and all of that. It's similar to sentiments expressed by another noted coach, Stephen Francis, who questioned the decision to cut one round of 400 meters for men. Mills also spoke to the fact that athletes outside the top 16 face the possibility of having to compete in three rounds in just over 24 hours. They're at a great disadvantage to run um, in the morning and come back in the evening to run again, especially in this heat. Um, it would take a lot out of them. And so I can just imagine the state of mind of those athletes because they probably feel it's an exercise in futility because um, when I qualify to the next round, and if I survive and qualify beyond that, um, what chance do I have against the persons who have been resting and only run once, you know? It's basically saying you don't matter. The specially arranged 4x400 meters is set for Sunday's fourth and final day of the National Senior Championships.